Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So first things first I'm going to start off by priming my eyes. I'm using my Wake Me Up Concealer from Rimmel I believe. I'm placing that all over my lid with just a Zoeva crease brush I believe. Making sure to neutralize the eyelid so that there's no veins or redness popping through. Next for a base pigment I'm actually going in with this Dusk Lip and Cheek tint I believe from Fat in the Moon and I'm placing that all over my lids so just to create a nice pink base for the eyeshadow that we're going in with next. Next from the Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics Malibu eyeshadow palette I'm taking Aries on an show blending brush and placing that all over the lid and lightly through the crease just building up that colour. I just want a wash of pink over the lids because the focus will be that butterfly like liner so I'm just basically creating quite a simple eyeshadow base to begin off with so what I decided to do was actually do my base I wish I'd done this first but I realized like with the butterfly wings I'm gonna need to have my base done so you guys can kind of do that before you start this eyeshadow look or after whichever you'd prefer next taking dusk again I'm placing that along my cheek and up towards my temple as well I want the eyeshadow and the pink to kind of all fade towards like my temple area so I'm placing down the pigment first to create a nice pink base and then I go back in with Aries again from the same eyeshadow palette and place that over top just like a blush kind of thing. You could use a blush if you wanted to but I decided to keep the eyeshadow and the cheek colour the same. What I also did with my brows was I actually kind of glued and concealed the tail of my brow. As you guys can see I've cut half of it off because I wanted more space to create the butterfly wings if your brows are light or you don't have too much brow hairs at the tail of your brow then you guys can skip that step i also take that pink eyeshadow and place it underneath my lower lash line as well just to finish off the shadow part of the look next taking my lip pencil from revlon i believe i'll have it linked down below for you guys it's in dusty rose i'm using this to map out the butterfly wings initially i'm just keeping a light hand and just doing a very basic outline of where i want the butterfly wings to go like placement wise where i want the details to go things like that and once you have your initial shape we're going to take lapis i believe that's how you say it lapis from fat in the moon which is another eye coal i'm placing this over top of the lip liner that we've just mapped down with an eag show eyeliner brush now do take your time with this step it is quite intricate and i did do little tiny strokes to begin off with just to kind of get the initial shape and then i'm more heavier handed once i've got the initial shape down I also create a winged sort of liner with this look too so I bring that all along the lash line area connecting it to my inner corner and I do extend the inner corner with a bit of a cat eye as well. Once you've got a little something like this I'm going to go in with this beautiful I think it's twerk eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette it is absolutely stunning I'm actually obsessed like this shimmery ocean blue i go over top of lapis with this eyeshadow it's just to deepen it up a little bit um, and also set it even just to create a bit of like a smoky effect to the wings as well again take your time with this step just applying a little bit of eyeshadow at a time to set those wings in place i also love how it gave it kind of like an electric blue color to it i just think it really made the wings stand out even more than the original just lapis eye coal Next I'm going in with some diamantes. You can use blue diamantes if you want. I didn't have any blue so I used these beautiful kind of silver ones. And I just got them from Spotlight and I just placed them kind of here and there on the wings where I felt they looked best. And also one on my inner corners. For lashes today I'm going in with my faves at the moment. These are the Pleasantly Plump Lashes from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. And next I'm going to line my waterline with a white eye coal to open up the eyes. I actually switched to my NYX Jumbo Pencil Milk because I felt like that eye coal was not pigmented enough. So, and I find my NYX Jumbo Pencil Milk it does the trick perfectly. Then I'm going to finish off by applying some mascara to my bottom lashes. And also going with a couple details here and there. So I'm going to using this body paint in white. And I'm just going in and placing a couple white dots just here and there where I feel looks best and voila the eye look is complete <laughs> for lips today i'm just going to quickly just whack them on kind of thing i'm going in with that lip pencil that we used before in dusty rose and lining my lips with that just to give a bit of shape 
and a bit of fullness to them. And then to fill in my lips, I'm going in with my Zoeva Pale Plethora Liquid Lipstick. It's a gorgeous kind of like pinky tone. I feel like it tied in well with the look, especially with the pink eyeshadow on the eyes. And then over top, I went in with my lip gloss. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's from Bonjourus Paris. I'll leave it linked down below as well. Just to give a bit more of a glossy pinky lip. And this, guys, is the completed makeup look. I'm so happy with how this butterfly look turned out. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below and what looks you'd like to see next. Do you want to see more kind of graphic liner looks like this? Or would you prefer to see just a casual smoky eye, uh, cut crease? You know, let me know. I love you all so much and thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.